So how do you like being surprised as a YouTuber that <clears throat> you're going to walk around today and you're going to get what you get? Is that the way you want to hold it? You <clears throat> yep. can't really tell if you're can't really tell if you're aimed at yourself. Well, that's why I have you here. You can turn go and look at the front of the camera and you can see that I'm perfectly aimed at myself. Okay. And you got the wide angle that helps yep. a lot. And I don't know which lens to look at. So why are we recording this? A lot of times I think folks wonder what the heck is it like to be a snowbirder and in particular someone that opened their wallet and bought one of these places. Yeah, these are nice. We could have bought one of these places for 65000 back in the day. 2018. 2018, about December. And I'm going to have to constantly switch with you, honey. I'm going to go this way because I don't have enough shoulder strength to hold this. Oh, no. But we could have bought one of these lots for 65000 and now they're more like 200,000 yeah. uh, and we always tell folks that even knowing that we probably if we went back in time probably wouldn't have done it because we feel it would have dictated where we're going and what we're doing and we had just started out and we yeah we just got rid of everything we got rid of our house had no storage and we were not ready to put any roots down anywhere we wanted to be yeah. loose and fancy free and be on the west coast for one winter the east coast we're not talking just florida west coast like arizona san diego that area yeah so uh would you agree with me sue that i've got kind of a very unusual wife yeah that she let us and let me get rid of everything we owned which was awesome and we have had and have awesome friends back in our hometown yeah. but you know what uh we were 65 or i was 65 and it was like I was man we gotta go for the gusto yeah. and we gotta shake things up and do things different and i'll be darned if we haven't and uh, what we're coming up on here is one of the videos that was actually our favorite. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Back in the day. It's called a video made for fun. Yeah. We, uh, I'm going to turn around here so you can see the camera mm -hmm. in the background. We're not going to walk over there. But in the background, there's a uh, dumpster area and a garbage area. And that's where... It's called the RV Mall. And in the RV Mall, a lot of people, especially during season changes, they end up uh, putting everything that they don't want to carry anymore. It could be broke, it could be worn, but many times it's not. Mm -mm. When you're an RVer, what kind of problems do you have, honey? Not enough space, that's it. They bought too many things while they were here. Now something had to go. Yeah. I mean, nice things like seasonal things, like beautiful potted plants. Don't want them anymore. They put them out there. Yeah. So we found, what, uh, a vacuum cleaner where the battery didn't hold its charge. Yeah. Well, Mark went online, got a battery, yeah. new battery, and it, we're still using it years later. And I couldn't believe it. It even had the box and the instructions, and it had a little note on it battery doesn't hold charge. And I thought, okay, buy a new battery. So that's exactly what I did. So basically what Mark is saying, we're dumpster divers. <laughs> <laughs> and we would uh, tell people to watch that episode because we had more fun on that day making that. We oh my were- God. That, that was the first time when we were, we were done recording. We laughed so hard. I said, I feel like I'm in elementary school on summer break and we are playing. Yeah. We were having so much fun. Yeah. Oh, well. So here we are now. And we've been coming to this park long enough that this lane and all of these fancy places here didn't even exist. Right. Um, we're in Cyprus, the uh, RV, Cypress Trail RV Resort. And there's essentially 
very little availability left here in terms of buying. There's, you know, there's always people that are selling and moving on in their life, but to make a video for this place anymore would be non-productive because it doesn't need a video. Yeah. But we're just trying to show you the life of, of and Sue. Yeah, Ooh, of and RV year, an average RV day. So why are we walking around? Well, guess what? I thought when we would start RVing that I would get healthier <laughs> and I would be outside nice. more often and I would be doing all sorts of physical things. I mean, here you're watching. I'm not even physical enough to hold my, <laughs> my iPhone up this high more than a few minutes at a crack. Um, it is tough to eat responsibly. We really try to do that, but we meet so many folks. We have so many friends that when we come here, one of the things you like to do and you like to sit down and have a nice meal. Okay. So what are you gonna do today on this beautiful day? By the way, what day is it today, you know? Today's Sunday. What's the date? Um, I believe it's the... March 10th. <laughs> Why are you asking me that? I happen to know that because it's you daylight savings it. time today. Oh, yeah. And I stayed up till 3 a.m. making sure that our video was ready for you guys, even though it was somewhat a commercial yeah. for National Indoors uh, Music City VIP event. Nonetheless, we feel the responsibility to be kind of the uh, lookout beacon for folks that are driving motorhomes. And if you're going to buy and you were going to buy from them or somebody of National Indoors Caliper to begin with, it seems like a no brainer yeah. to go to that. Mm -hmm. You know, what's kind of funny is you're looking around here now and you're seeing certain sites that are empty and sometimes the rig is left behind because if you really studied you see that the rig is tied down it's literally bolted to the concrete mm -hmm. and during hurricane season they hope for the best and they leave it behind and some of them have contingency plans where if it gets really bad they'll come and actually pick the rig up and take it to a storage facility yeah. um, but as early as mid-May, people are leaving here. So I would say the average stay seems to be about two and a half, between two and a half and three and a half months down here. And then the rest of the time, they own these properties. Now, you would have to think that if you have to come down in this area to visit family or friends or something, and you're gonna be baking in the Florida sun, this resort is probably empty. Oh, in the summer. Yeah, yes. and Absolutely. yet it's so beautiful, and the pools are open year round, mm -hmm. and they're so beautiful. Uh, make sure you check this place out uh, just to see what the rates are. You would think that they would be, you know, somewhat competitive during that time period for the folks that do want to rent their place out while they're not here. Mm -hmm. What are you planning on doing oh today, my gosh. honey? I okay. truly sprung this on her. She's I'm, like, I'm oh my God, I have to come up with something clever for YouTube. <laughs> no, I don't. So we're going to edit this part. I'm going to say, I got nothing planned, Mark. You put me on the spot. I'm going to Walmart to return something I buy, that I buy, that I well, bought. Honey, that's real life. This is real life. Yeah. I'll do laundry too. Yeah, but maybe that'll be the thumbnail. That's huge. Sue goes to Walmart. Walmart. So now we're coming basically to the entrance. Are you going to talk through the whole thing? Well, I'm going to talk about different things, honey. Okay. Let me explain video editing to you. What you do <laughs> oh, is you continue. Like, take for instance how exciting stop, it would stop. be if okay, I kept go, going go. and I got killed here. If it was on camera, it would oh make God, an excellent video as long as you got blood in the thumbnail. Ew, so, you never know what's going to happen. We could turn this corner and we could get some could be confronted by uh, alligators. Yeah, like here. Here's a Porsche SUV Serious. at the wow. lot. Wow. I wonder, I wonder if we're ever going to get kicked out because we have a 2013. 14. Uh, no. Oh, our our toad, our yeah. minivan. Our minivan. And it's a minivan. How yeah. how sexy is that? Yeah. <laughs> you turn the, the you get to the gate and they go. You know, Mark. 
sorry, you aged out on your on your minivan. And not only that, we don't let those in anymore. It's oh, on, only Jeeps and, uh, and Porsches. He's making that up. Yeah. They let us in. So now we're coming down this aisle. And it's kind of funny because Switch. Sue and I said that we always have the same problem on this aisle. We think we're coming to the home stretch in our walk. And how, how long is it around here? About 1.2 miles. 1.2 miles. All the way around miles. the outside, yeah. And it's funny because uh, I'll walk this with Sue. By the time I get back 1.2 miles, I've had it, you know. Aww. But you know what the only time is I'll take two laps? is if I strap on my microphone and I end up calling our good friend Cindy and she's the famous gal from our stuck video yeah. or end up talking to one of our friends and the time just goes by. You're a In fact, creature. that's why I grabbed the camera right now. So we could talk to our friends, honey. <laughs> Look at, we're half done already. Okay, you know? you're being so one-sided. Be nice, Mark. Ask them, what are you guys doing today? Yeah. yeah this is a conversation. Yeah. Right? So far, it's one-sided. Okay, so let's ask it this way. Sue thought this was boring for you guys, and it's <laughs> March 10th. So if you're watching this, let's say on March 17th, and you're just about ready to click away, I want you to honestly think, what the heck were you doing on the 10th? And if you were going to Walmart, or you were doing laundry, Leave a comment down below and say, you know what, Sue, you were right on. I ended up doing our taxes, and I did that about a week and a half or so ago. Okay. And uh, this has been the first travel year where we have actually spent more money. Oh, all our repairs. Yeah, than we take in in yeah. terms of the you know, the trivial rental uh, revenue streams that we have, as well as our retirements and our pensions. So I was a that's little not, bit... That's not bad for almost seven years full-time. Yeah, yeah, actually I was quite satisfied by that. And part of it was because we didn't take Sue's Social Security until the absolute last minute. Yeah. So I guess if we would have been piling that up. Uh, but I was gratified that the taxes didn't end up as bad as I thought they were gonna and maybe it's because I did them wrong but hey if you don't you know tried. you did it wrong I sure tried to do them right <laughs> aren't you, you glad you a hand no well okay I could I could let you do it for a while that would only be fair well you could hold it and then I'll yeah hold but it. you already got nice arms and and uh, shoulders so I think I need a little help flowing. can you imagine if we had a 35 millimeter camera here Oh, that, oh, oh we couldn't God. do this. Too heavy. Yeah. Too heavy. We like our iPhone camera. So one of the things on Sundays that they have at the resort, they have uh, movies. They have movie night. Yep. And we probably won't go to this movie uh, that they have this week, but we have in the past. And they pop popcorn. I love really popcorn. Nice. I have to be really careful. I have to chew it really slow and deliberate to make sure that I don't end up busting out my teeth. I suppose I could show those on screen right now. Oh, God. I, I kind of keep track of them for the dentist. Oh, this number one, six is out, one. number nine this time, you know. Yes. It's like a little pinball game. I guess I'm holding it okay. Yeah, well, you won't be able to switch hands if I don't hold this, so why don't you oh. let me hold this? Oh, I'm switching hands. Okay. Yeah, well, you wait. Your arm's gonna get tired. That's true. Tell you what, if you hold it with that hand until we get back, I'll give you 20 bucks. Wow. Okay. Make it 30, I'll do it. All right, I'll give you 40. <laughs> oh, I'm pretty geez. sure you won't be able to. And if you do, I'll be so depressed, I'll probably have to go to Walgreens to get some pills. Then you and you will to. notice that I have on my sunglasses, and I do not have these on. Because the recent video that I made, I had to have these on so I could see the camera. And then I, and read what I wanted to talk about. And then I had to have these on. And He's this, a nerd at heart. Well, no, he, he not a nerd. That. This is when you know that you finally are old. Yeah. When you literally, absolutely don't care that 
50,000 people are going to see that you're kind of a dork? And I, my answer to them would be, yes, you are correct. <laughs> I am. <laughs> uh, yeah, if anybody knows and could put in the comments some nice looking glasses like this. Oh my gosh, serious. That are readers. I don't need prescription. I don't wear glasses, but I need readers. And I can find them, but they kind of look like sunglasses that look like tinted lenses like this that are readers. Yeah. And oh. I just want it on the bottom. And I want to still be cool. Hi. Hi. Like I am right now. God, yeah, those you know? dogs think you're cool. Well, they knew. They're, they're, they'd be frightened like, of Elvis. They're frightened of me. You know? Oh, my gosh. So what else you got going on today? What about Pat and Paul? Folks. What about them? Oh, I noticed you switched <coughs> arms. I don't need your stinking 40 bucks. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just take it. That's how that works. So yesterday, uh... Well, actually, we could go two days ago. So two days ago, we went on a bike ride, and that's one of the beautiful things about this resort is from this place, it's kind of a busy road from here to the area that gets us to safety. I'd say it's no more than a mile and a half. Mm -hmm. But then from that point on, we can follow along the Caloosahatchee River. So we're, uh, we're in North Fort Myers, yes. and we go along the river to get to the downtown, cute little downtown area of Fort Myers. Mm -hmm. That's where all the cafes and restaurants and great breakfast spots are. Yeah. This year our timing has been a little bit odd because Sue took a, yeah, a brief I was, interlude. I was, gone. I was gone for, uh, unexpectedly, I was gone, flew back home for about 17 days. Um, my, my mom was going downhill, and... Uh, Once I got there and we made some adjustments, medication, all that stuff, um, Lazarus has risen. She's doing right. really, really good now. Right. She's not going so, uphill. She's going on flat. She's, she's yeah. maintaining and she's good. She's happy. Got a chance to stay with my daughter and her family for about a week. So I missed a lot of, a good chunk of the time here. Right. Mark whooped it up. He was having a good time. Yeah. Hanging out with friends. So uh, we have all these favorite things and places to go in Fort Myers and one of the things was the first Friday of every month during season they have an art show yeah, the... slash street dances. Oh and third Friday that's the one we usually go to third Friday is their music festival shut down the whole right. main street of Fort, uh, Fort Myers they got a lot of music scattered throughout the street, and right. that's that's when we do our dancing. Restaurants are open, yeah. people walk yeah. in. We had a subscriber that contacted us literally in July of last year. Guess yeah. what? They live in that gated community, which at one time was built by the people that built this community. You'll notice that the doors are shut. I'm sure that's open just for fire department access and emergency or construction yeah. equipment, but they're a separate park with their own separate security, just that's, like uh, us. We're Cypress Trail, and over there is Cypress Wood. Right, so we went out with those guys for breakfast. I carried that letter around from them for a couple of months, put it in our travel planning. That yeah. We have a book that we create from RV Trip Wizard. We print out all of the different campground info and the time that we're supposed to be there and whether or not we uh, paid a deposit. And that was in there when, when we finally got here. I go, what the heck's this piece oh, of paper? Oh, got yeah? to contact Randy oh. and uh, Edie. Yeah. So how'd you enjoy the Super Bowl? Crickets. <laughs> I'm not a sports person. When we were, I'd here, rather play a sport than watch it. I'm sorry. When we were here, all not all, but some of these tiki huts oh, were just full. a buzz yeah. with parties and yep, yep, uh, yep. Uh, the TV sets going and people I, really going at it. And we, of course, didn't partake in that because I'm heavily invested in a lot of betting on Super Bowl, oh and I didn't God. want to jinx any of the teams. Well, I knew I was in trouble. For the longest time, I thought Tigers Woods was on the Packers, <laughs> and I was really 
defeated when people said, Mark, 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 you've got that way, way off. A few of our friends back yeah. home kind of slapped him up a little bit. He yeah. got it straight. Well, I like that part of it. But <laughs> now, okay, so if you stop here and you pan and back, oh. look at this. We've got people over here. Uh, maybe we should... Infiltrate? Maybe, let's go infiltrate just a tad. Yeah. All right, we're going to go. We're just walking around, recording any old thing. And your annual life. thing. Yeah. <laughs> You're part of the yeah. annual yeah. thing. <laughs> but I will admit that this is a stark reality of what it's like when you've got everything figured out and you've got enough dough to do it right. And very shortly, we'll go over to our place and you'll see that we're barely making it. In fact, and we're renting yet. Yeah. In fact, we only have 30 amp. We don't have 50 amp. Oh, again, All right. again that's baloney. <laughs> See you guys. That's baloney. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Pat and Paul. Yeah. Here's the vehicle that they drive us There's around. There's our gray in. bus. Yeah. It's not uh, running today. Yeah. Literally, every couple days they're taking us somewhere, because we always have the built-in excuse that we only have two seats in yeah. the Honda. It's actually not an excuse. It's for real. It's for real. Yeah, it's for real. All right, we do have 50 amp. That was a joke. We have yes. 30 amp. But our electric and our tiki doesn't work. And I'm the type of guy that I'm not going to complain. Like, don't need it anyways. Yeah, you're not outside. Well, I'm never out there. You are. I'm outside a lot. I need yeah. a tiki. Yes. Love the tiki. Yeah. All right. Well, if you watched it this far, man, I'm worried about you. Yeah. But uh, we... Uh, just wanted you to show kind of what it's like. And I don't want to project that it's boring. In fact, it's the reverse. Oh, it's relaxing. It's, it's gratifying, yes. you know. There are times where you just want to be with the person you're with and you want to take a walk. And quite honestly, we have a hot tub and swimming in the pool uh, left in our, our itinerary for, day, yeah. for today. We love watching the news. We're going to watch the news. I love eating supper. <laughs> We're going to eat supper. We recommend these things, by the way, to do. And uh, that's going to round out our day today. Now, tomorrow, actually, we're having another breakfast meetup with one of our favorite subscribers that has become a friend. And now he likes us enough that he's introducing his wife to us. Oh my gosh. Yes. We've met, we've met Betsy already. Yeah, but not long term. For a while we thought maybe she was a stunt actor. <laughs> so tomorrow we're going out with Steve and Betsy and we're going to a place called the Saucy Meatball, yeah. which has got amazing reviews. Yeah. So here's what it's like when you're on a limited budget. You can see that we do have a tiki hut, but we don't have any furniture in it, although we do have our bikes. How, like how's to say that, goodbye, honey? How's that for excitement? Whoo, slow down, mister. Yeah.